friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are doing a review on five minute craft makeup hacks. Sort of like a debunking for most of them, but we're gonna see, maybe some of them will be good. Probably not. <laughs> But we're gonna see you guys. Anyway, I'm very excited to start this video because I just, I don't know, I got a special opinion about five minute crafts, you guys. So yeah, without further ado, we can hop right into this video. you guys so before I even start talking about this I just want to say that hair loss or hair thinning can be extremely extremely detrimental detrimental to both men and women it is really something that affects a lot of people and it's very hard uh, to start losing your hair or have any sort of patches something that I have personally and absolutely love is Topic. So what that is, it is a product and it has almost like little hair fibers that you can spray and it definitely is the quickest and most realistic for things like this. However, I'm gonna show you what she did in the video. Actually, I, I won't show you, I'll show you the correct way if you're gonna be filling it in with makeup products. So I'm very, very lucky. I don't have any really like balding or thinning around my hairline. However, I do have this area right here that just, I've never had this uh, in my whole life, this area of hair, so, which is fine. I think it looks totally fine. I'm not complaining about that or anything. It could be much worse. So the first thing that she did incorrectly is she drew a straight line just from here to here. And so if you were going to do that, this is my eyebrow pencil. Don't draw the line straight across like that. Instead, what you're going to do is you're gonna take a shadow or a pencil, uh, definitely something that maybe is even a little bit lighter, start lighter than your hair color, and then you can work up the darkness from there. This woman has very, very dark hair. It's like almost black, uh, so it's a little bit easier to hide that, if that makes sense, the, the darker the shadows in there. But instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw actually individual hairs going in the direction where our hair is growing. So I know it, to do this correctly, it is going to be a little bit tedious and it's gonna take a little bit more time than just shading in like that. So what happens when you shade in that shadow, how it was in the video, of course it's much quicker, but it's not going to look anywhere close to natural because in real life, you can see the scalp through the hair. Like if I move here, see, you can see my scalp. If I move my, wherever I part, you can see that that area of scalp. You see? <laughs> you see that? You see, you see my head? So my big head? So we don't want that. We still want a little bit of scalp throwing, showing through and skin showing through. So what I'm doing is I'm starting and I'm feathering, but I'm going past where the actual, see like if it ends here, I'm going a little bit further down so that it's not such a harsh stop. And I think that this is the perfect color for me is just like my eyebrow pencil. This is my uh, professionals precisely, this not perfect, I'm not well, it's benefit. It's my benefit, it's like the best ever. This is shade three, this is number three. And very important, I'm just going in the direction that the hair grows and I'm also going in with a very gentle hand. I'm not going straight down like she is. And so I'm building that up until I am satisfied with the pigment. So I do want it to also, I don't want to start at the same exact point everywhere because that's not how your real hair starts. So you can look at areas or you can look at pictures or anything of a regular hairline where you're not experiencing uh, any of these, 
hair, let's say like loss of hair. So wherever you're not experiencing that, look at that, look at that area, look at your sideburns, look at everywhere, anything, and you'll see that the hair isn't just in a straight line like that, and when it is, it's not natural. Even when you do hair transplants or anything like that, you're not gonna have every single individual hair line up at the exact same point and just in a straight line. That's why what she's doing in the video, it's not correct and it's just, it's not going to blend nicely. And it might even, it's probably gonna make it even more noticeable. Like I said, eyeshadow for this, but I think that this is good for me, for what I would like for filling in, but you can fill that in. You can see how much more natural that looks, even though it doesn't look like I filled it in as much, you know, but it still looks like my natural hairline. It doesn't look like I'm missing patches over here. It doesn't look streaky. There's not so much attention drawn to it. So although, I understand why so many people want to do that quick shadow because it it is like two minutes when you do it like this and this does take a lot longer, the method I'm showing you, but the payoff, it's just, it doesn't compare. So this is a proper way and we can hop right into the next video. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so uh, let's try that. Okay, so I actually have my handy dandy, this is brand new chopstick. So first of all, she said hygienic chopstick, uh, hygienic, hy bleh, hygienic lipstick, put it on her lips and then put it on her brows. So it's like, it's not really hygienic anymore. You just put it all over your mouth, which is fine. Like it's fine, it's your own face, but let's try this. Okay, so I have my my lipstick this is like she said lipstick but that was that was like chopstick in there let's see how this goes okay so i'm gonna tell you guys right now at first this is gonna work okay it's going to control your brows definitely Go. So at first, this works, and it actually, it works better uh, than I would give it credit for. However, when you put this on your face like that, such a heavy product, such as like chapstick or lipstick, and this is why I'm not really a huge fan of the like lipstick under your eyes or for color correcting trend. I know that that's also all over five minute crafts, and I just, I Sometimes I don't I don't like to like bash and I don't like to be rude and I don't like to have any of that like negativity on my channel at all or anything like that. This is a good hack if you want to have like really oil oily skin around your brows and be yeah, you just it's not so what happens throughout the day is your skin and this happens 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and never stops. So your skin is always trying to heal itself and regenerate all of the cells that you lose throughout the day, all the skin cells. And so it pushes out natural oils that your body needs in order to keep, to keep your skin healthy, to keep those barriers nice and strong, everything to protect your skin. So what's gonna happen, especially if you have particularly oily skin, is that this, it would be like putting almost Vaseline on your skin, which for some people, is actually fine if you have like extremely, extremely, extremely dry skin. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do it and you like it, then it's it's fine. Some people can put on Vaseline and not have their skin break out, but it's very rare that that happens. So, and you have to have like extremely, extremely dry skin for that to be something that your skin would actively search for as far as the lack of moisture. So to have all of this on your 
eyebrow and especially around your eyes which are extremely moist areas so that's if you think about even just your lid so the reason that we prime first and the reason that we have a base on our eyelids is because it gets so oily on our eyelids just from every day our skin releasing that it's going to make it even worse <laughs> when you add this bad boy so if you're gonna add this bad boy I would only, it, it definitely like, it shapes the brows, okay? It controls your brows, it definitely does. Uh, I don't think that this will last very long. I think that this is maybe for like, maybe I'll get 20 minutes to a half hour out of this like lock brow because it is thick, you know? It is a thick uh, substance that's on my, it's already starting to like come off. So it's starting to, when you first apply it, it lays onto the eyebrow and that's what gives you that, power you know to go over that but once it starts absorbing into the skin and mixes with that oils it almost like retracts from your actual hair and they just go back to being a mess so maybe i'll get like 20 to 30 minutes out of this and then it will be it will just be bad also you wouldn't be able to apply this on makeup that you have on already i see that she has like a full face of makeup on <laughs> in this video and that just wouldn't be possible because you're applying basically this super moist that's like putting on lotion or putting on like primer right after you did all your foundation or anything like your eyeshadow putting on lotion or moisturizer right after and that would just take everything off so yeah I don't I don't this this gets a I'm, I wasn't gonna rate them but this one I'm just gonna rate this one and it's like a give it a zero. <laughs> I was going to be given a negative, but I don't want to be mean. I don't like being mean. All right, next video. That's the worst one. This is the worst. This is one of the worst five minute crafts or a beauty hack things that I've ever seen. This is like, I never am negative on my channel, but I just, and I always say, if you find a technique that works for you, then do it. But some of this stuff I feel just really bad about because some people actually really do want to expand in their makeup journey and they want to learn more. And when there's information out there like this, that is just gonna make things harder for them. I don't like that. And you can even see in the video, like her face is gray. So the concept behind this is color matching. So if you think about paint, for example, like you can make a purple with a red and a blue and you can make any sort of shade for purple if you have uh, the proper colors to mix that. So I get, I get it, I get like the concept, but that is not going to work mixing on your face like that. You guys can see, you can rewind the video and you can see her face is gray. So they definitely, that is like not true what, what just happened. They definitely took off all that makeup and then did it again. And not only that is that she's mixing all these crazy colors on her face and with that really like fluffy brush like that, and she's actually just taking off some of the product, like most of the product is coming off because she's being so hard on that brush because she has to, to mix all that product. So I'm not even gonna try to attempt this on my face because you can literally see in the video that her face is gray and she definitely took that off and put on regular foundation and then she refilmed it, which is like, fine, that's fine, whatever whatever, for entertainment, it's fine. But if you're genuinely trying to teach people what you know about makeup, I don't think that that's right. Like a lot of people take makeup very, very seriously, especially professional makeup artists or people looking to be professional makeup artists. And I don't think that really anyone takes five minute crafts so seriously. There's some stuff, there's some stuff on there that's not so bad, okay? It's not so, so bad, but I just don't like that. I don't know, what is the point? Is five minute craft like just for entertainment or is it what? If, if you wanted to, which I don't know why you ever would want to, maybe you are trying to be like a professional artist and you don't uh, have the colors that you need or you have face paints or anything like that and you're trying to transition into beauty but you don't wanna buy a lot of foundations right now. 
So what you can do is you can take a clean spatula and take a clean mixing tray. So it's literally just, let's see, do I have one with me right now? Okay, so I don't have my mixing tray with me, but basically it's just like a flat surface, almost like you can use any, any clean flat surface and they, you can get them really, really cheap, these mixing trays. And take your spatula and just mix those products on the tray. Don't mix it on your hand, especially if you're working with other people. Always use clean products, everything. And you can try to make the foundations from there out of your face paints or anything like that, but don't try to mix it on your face, let alone a client's face that is like crazy. Please, please don't try to do that. That is, that is not good. Uh, I am sure, I don't know, does anyone take these things seriously? Does anyone take like five minute crafts for realsies? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're going on to the next video. That one, I wasn't, you know, that one gets like a negative, negative 14. Negative 14, I'll give that, I'll give that bad boy. I don't know why five minute craft exists. I really, I don't know. I don't, some of them are not so bad, but I don't know why all the ones I'm watching for some reason are just like so bad. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I don't have a peel off tint, but I do have these. These are, these are tints, they're the same thing. I'm gonna use the darker one. And so I am going to, it looked like she applied that rather messily. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, uh, that was, a little bit, I don't know, I don't know about that application, but I'm gonna do mine a little bit smoother. So let's see. So she applied on her lips, on her cheeks, and on her eyes. Uh, the only thing that she did was to blend or anything is she took a Q-tip and she just went over once it dried. Okay. So lips are good. I'm gonna wait for those to dry. And she literally just went in like circles. She didn't go in, she just went in a circle and she didn't blend or anything outward. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it how she did it here and then I'm gonna show you guys a proper way to do to do a, a tint look like that. So this is actually, this is what she did. This is. I know that that's a peel, so this is different than what I, I have. So of course it's gonna be a little bit different, but it'll still, it'll still get my point across. Okay, so it looks like she just put it all over, all over and didn't do anything. So now what I'm gonna do on this side is I'm gonna show you a way to make this actually work. This could actually work. You just have to have a proper application so I wouldn't recommend a uh, peel tint for that. I would recommend definitely something like this because you can blend this out with your finger. I will show you guys right now. So you can add just a little bit right here. And what you're gonna do is take your finger and just pat that for a nice rosy. So this actually, it's not like bad. It's not, it's not bad. The way that she did it was bad, but the concept is not bad. So that's why this is not like the worst thing that I've ever seen, but it's definitely, it ain't, it ain't the best. And also you cannot definitely not wear uh, makeup underneath this if you're doing it the way that she did because you're taking a Q-tip and everything so you wouldn't be able to have your base on. Okay, now for the lid, same same thing. So I'm gonna take this and even though I'm applying it very messy, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna take my finger and I'm going to just tap that and blend it. Just like that. And I'm not, so with any eyeshadow, you always wanna make sure that you have a little bit of this brow bone uh, uncovered and picking through. You know, I actually love this. I actually love this tint on my lid like that. I think that this, 
I think one shade of eyeshadow is like so beautiful. I don't know why more people don't just wear one shade of eyeshadow properly blended. It looks like a dream. It just looks like a dream. It just looks literally like a dream. Okay, so is this dry? It's not dry. I'm gonna wait for this to dry, you guys. Gonna grab a Q-tip. I'll be right back. But, uh, all right. First of all, I don't think anyone really does eyeliner that carelessly to just be like, bleh, all over. So I am going to show you what she did. Let's see if this works. Okay, so it's not really going to work and I'll tell you why. Because it might work for this one right here. But it's not gonna look exactly how uh, you might want it to because of the thickness of the what the feathering looks like on your liquid eyeliner. So I'm gonna do exactly what she did right over here. I'm just going to literally, yeah, okay, so see, this is, she did like, I can't do it in one, one step like she did. And it's not, it's not, this is not it. This is not, definitely not it. So it depends on the feathering of your liner itself. So this is by far my favorite eyeliner ever in the whole wide world. This is Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So if you're just looking for like, you don't really care about how your eyeliner is going to turn out and you just like want something on your face, then I guess this is an okay method. Wouldn't recommend it, but that's just to each his own. Maybe you like your eyeliner like this, I don't know. So the reason being, uh, what makes a good eyeliner pencil is you want it very thin at the top. So, which this is very, very precise. It's like a very precise uh, feathering. It's really great. But you also want a lot of that product to be reaching the very tip. So this is great and it could have been maybe a little bit sharper here if I go like, no, there you go. <laughs> I guess I can add like a little bit of sharpness, um, but, if your eyeliner is even like a little bit dull, you're not gonna get that sharpness. And depending on how thick your bristle is, because this one is very thin, so that's why I couldn't go just with one line like that. If you have a thicker feathering and a, thick, a thicker uh, area, surface area like this, it might work a little bit better because you'll be able to get the surface area at the bottom if you just were looking for something very quick. Eyeliner is a video by itself. It is very hard to get eyeliner, especially because there are all different types of sh uh, shapes for eyes. So eyeliner that looks great on one person could not look so great on somebody else. And it just needs to be a separate video all by itself. But this, I, it's not the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life, but it is definitely not the best. I wouldn't recommend it. I will, I promise, make a video. I'm not gonna, this, okay, I'll do how I, how I would do my liner normally. So I make, there we go. So this is how I would normally do my liner. I usually stop like in the middle. This is also very trendy right now, but I actually do it because I have hooded eyes. I'm like trying to talk in line at the same time. It is impossible. <laughs> this is actually getting rather dull. This liner, I need to buy a new one. Okay, here we go. So this is how I would normally do my liner. Uh, just very straight, very angled, but I don't, this isn't like, it's pretty bad this side, but you know, it's, <laughs> For something, I mean, this was really quick. Of course, like I just did this really quick. Normally I would do it a little bit neater right over here, but this is dull and it's just for like a two minute thing. Uh, I need to, again, order order more of this. 
and I have tint on my eyes, so it's it's rather rather moist right now. Also, an update, you guys, on my eyebrows. Exactly what I said was happening is happening. I'm getting wicked oily, and I feel like grease on my face from this. Oh, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. I don't like that. I feel like grease is like dripping down into my, oh, I don't like it. I don't like this. I want to take it off. <laughs> okay, you guys. So that is it for today's five minute craft, debunking, reviews, all that. Uh, so honestly, you could get some, you could get some stuff. You could get one thing. There was one like good video that had a good concept, you know? So I don't know. What, what do you guys think about five? Do people take it seriously or is it just for entertainment? I don't know. Do any of you guys take five minute craft seriously? I don't think that people do. I don't think so, but you never know. That's, you never know, right? I don't know. I don't know. Do, do people do that? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. I'm sorry if I was like negative today. I really try to stay positive on this channel and I don't like to say bad things about products or techniques or anything like that because everyone has a different way to do their makeup, but some things just get my goat going. They just get me going, you guys. When I see things that mislead, it's just, yeah. But anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you feel like it and you did enjoy, please consider supporting me and my channel by just throwing up that big like button and hitting that subscribe button. It really does go so far in my channel. So thank you so much. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Have a great night.